Hi, welcome to the mathcenter.com. In today's video, we are going to look at a simple proof. Uh, many of you have asked me this before, so I thought uh, let's do a short video on uh, this proof. It involves uh, compound angles A plus B, and we're going to show that cos A plus B equals to cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Okay, so that's where we're heading. Let's start with a couple of uh, triangles. Okay, and we we'll label them. The triangles will be right angled. Okay. So let's. We have two right angle triangles here, one here and one here, okay? So let's label the triangles, let's say we have P, Q, R, S, let's draw a vertical from here downwards, okay, so let's label this point T and let's label this point U. Okay, a quick summary. We are trying to prove this formula, cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. So for that we'll use two right angle triangles, which I've drawn for you. Triangle PQR and triangle PSR, and the right angles are indicated for you. Okay, and I've also drawn a perpendicular a perpendicular from S down to the line PQ. Great. So let's call this angle A and let's call this angle B. Good. So if we have, we're going to use this next fact so we might as well uh, deal with that here. Uh, this is angle A so, you know, this will be angle A, okay, so let's label that, this will be angle A, if this is angle A, this is 90 minus A, okay, this is 90 minus A, therefore this angle here is A, okay, the point is, if you have an angle A here, so we have alternate angles, so this is A, this is 90 degrees, so this must be 90 minus A, and therefore this must be A. Good. So now, let's write cos A plus B. Okay? So that's this angle here that we are talking about, which is angle SPU. Okay? Angle SPU is A plus B, so cos A plus B will be Let's write it first. Adjacent over your hypotenuse. Okay, is that good? So cos A plus B will be PU divided by my hypotenuse, which is PS. So let's write PU in terms of PQ, okay, this whole thing, minus QU. Okay, so PU here. Is this whole thing PQ minus this thing here? Okay, so far so good. Now QU here is the same as TR, as you can see from my picture. QU is the same as TR. Okay, so before that, let me write PS here at the bottom. Okay, so PU is PQ minus QU, and PS is here. So now let's replace this QU here with the TR. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I haven't done anything unusual except that I've defined cos A plus B as your adjacent divided by your hypotenuse and I've just used TR in place of QU. That's all I've done. So now I can write PQ over PS minus TR over PS. That's basic algebra. Okay? P 
TQ over PS minus TR over PS. So now let's mess around with this a little bit. So I'm going to write this as PQ over PR times, excuse me, PR over PS. Okay, slowly. This PQ over PS, if you notice, I just rewritten this as PQ over PR times this little dot here is a times PR over PS. So you notice this PR and this PR can cancel, so we are still left with PQ over PS. Okay, next term we have TR. You are to do the same thing here. Okay, this is TR over PS. So let's write this as RS here and RS here. Okay, so you may want to call it the chain rule, but no big deal. Okay, you can follow the ideas. It's just it's still TR or PS, etc. Multiplying top and bottom by RS here, here multiplying top and bottom by PR. Good. Now we can write in our answers. PQ over PR, you can see, is cos A. Okay, PQ over PR is cos A. PR over PS, PR over PS from this triangle adjacent over your hypotenuse is cos B. Okay, good. TR, okay, over RS, okay. This is TR, okay, over RS, it will be sin A, okay. Again, sin A will be your opposite over your hypotenuse. And then you have RS over PS, okay, which is RS, okay, RS over uh, PS. This will be sine B, okay. RS is here, and PS is here, so that will be sine B, opposite over your hypotenuse. And we are done, okay. So we have shown that. Cos A plus B, okay, cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B, and we are done.